uh, once you can get a road into your site so you're no, no longer helicopter supported, you can then drill all year round. Now, your drilling costs will go up just dealing with... Talking gold here with P2Gold and Joe. And we talked about mapping, surface sampling, drilling. Once you drill, you get cores. That's these big crates then where you put the, the long tube-like rocks in. Uh, and then it gets sent to the lab. Uh, and I did read that there are some constraints right now, a lot of competition getting your samples. Obviously, everyone wants to be first into the lab, first out in the market with their results. So what's the situation for P2Gold and lab right now? With the labs right now, that there are a limited number of labs uh, that are available to do your work. Uh, there, there was much more capacity in the amongst labs back in you know, the, the knots uh, up to about 2012 when the, uh, you know, the resource market went into uh, a bit of a depression. Uh, so uh, during that time, a lot of the labs either downsized or went out of business. And so there is a constraint amongst labs. And so uh, what we find uh, at this point in time, we use uh, a highly regarded uh, big outfit, ALS, um, and they do a great job. Uh, but what happens is the Golden Triangle, for the most part, exploration, you have about a four month window from June through the end of September to drill. You can drill, maybe start a little earlier at times, but it's that four months. So when you first start drilling, if you get on the ground early and start drilling, uh, usually those holes get prepared, you know, assayed by the lab. It's about a six to eight weeks turnaround from you delivering your lab, your core sample to the lab for you getting results. So beginning of season. As the season progresses, you get through the summer, more guys are drilling, more cores showing, showing up in the lab. That gets to delay and so it pushes out to eight to 10 weeks. Uh, by the end of the season, some of the cores the guys are putting in, in September, early September, mid-September, it can take three, four months before they see results. Now, one benefit for us, we've been working with ALS for, geez, I don't know, 20 years. So we have a lot of experience with them, good relationships. So at times, if we really do need something in a hurry, we can maybe get a little little assistance in moving in the, up the queue uh, where something's really critical that we get some information. But uh, so the early holes, so we're starting to drill, as I said, early next week. Uh, first hole, their holes are going to be, we're drilling about 500 meters. They're going to be about a week per hole to drill. Uh, so we'll get... You know, first hole will be in the lab by the end of June. So middle of August, uh, we would expect to see the first drill hole results. And then, you know, moving on from there. Now, uh, you know, we'll continue to push to get them through the lab, but things may drag on as you get through the summer, as I say, as the lab gets backed up. Okay, quick follow-up question on that one. Perhaps you can explain why there's a drilling season, why there's only a small part of the year where you're actually able to drill in this uh, golden triangle. In the golden triangle, there's a lot of snow. And so uh, at our last company, Predium, we had the Bruce Jack mine. Uh, the last year we, we were running there, we had 22 meters of snow. So you get a lot of snow in the winter. Now you can drill through the winter and, and work through the winter. The problem is early stage exploration, for the most part, you're helicopter supported. So you can drill up to the end of September, early October. And after that, the weather, you start getting the freezing conditions. And, the helicopters don't like that sort of mid where it goes from wet to freezing and, and the rotors freeze the ice up and that's problematic. Uh, once you get into the middle of the winter, the helicopters can fly, but you know, there's a lot of snow. So the usual course in the Golden Triangle is uh, you drill through the, say June through the end of September. Uh, once you can get a road into your site so you're no, no longer helicopter supported, you can then drill all year round. Now, your drilling costs will go up just dealing with the snow, but you can actually function all winter. At, at Bruce Jack, once we got our road in in uh, January 2013, it was continuous operations of drilling, uh, some underground, some on surface throughout throughout the program. So Joe, you could actually drill uh, all year round in the Golden Triangle, but you would need to find a drill crew that's happy to uh, live and work on the drill pad 300 days in a row without leaving. And as that's not feasible, and you probably won't find anyone raising their hand for that job, that's why you've got to have this seasonality. Yeah, that's a tough one. Uh, not a lot of takers for that.